So when I was down at Disneyland, I got a chance to meet up with Adam the Woo and Jay Coat, and we talked about some of our first memories at a Disney park, and then we went for some food. So why don't we uh, check it out? You might even see a special guest. Whee! Jay, what is your first memory at any Disney park? And I'm assuming it would be this one here. It would be this one. My grandpa worked here from 55 to 85. He had interactions with Walt. So I always came, up, came here, he'd get me in. I'd come to the front gate, and my grandpa would be right there waiting for me, waving his hands, having some tickets for me. Nice. I'd walk in, and that's every time I walk in today, I think about that. I see my yeah. grandpa waving to me. And I came here all the time thinking about my grandpa. Was he uh, working on a train or what was he doing? Working yeah, I think he helped do, doing the Mickey floral. Uh huh. And then he would just work on everything the rides, he'd do the topiaries, he did everything here fixing stuff, cutting the weeds or whatever. No kidding. He did a lot of different things. There were times where they would do the park things and him, I guess Walt and I think Fowler, uh -huh. would go across the street to one of the hotels or whatever and they'd drink over there. Just pretty crazy. I remember in the 80s, um, there was, I remember seeing elephants chained up at Disneyland. Do you, do you remember the elephants? No. Man, I swear no. I have memories of them on Main Street. On Main Street? Like walking down Main Street. I wonder if it was some kind of parade they had back in the day. I think so. I think there was like some kind of circus parade that was going on. And moving on, what is your favorite, uh, what is your favorite treat at Disneyland? Hmm, there's a lot of treats. Actually, Absolutely. how about this? Which one is not your favorite? He probably has more <laughs> no, more favorites than he does non-favorites. I always think of one thing. Well, Dole Whip has to be my all-time favorite. Dole really? Dole Whip. Okay. Ice cream from the Gibson Girls, pretty darn good. Uh -huh. oh, but straight Dole Whip. And what's your least favorite? I don't know they've had a least They're, favorite. Everything's good here. Right. There's no least favorites. I mean, there's a Dole Whip, and then there's everything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But everything's good. What's not good at Disneyland? I'm not a fan of the turkey legs. Well, that's, is that, I've never had the turkey. I'm legs. thinking. I'm thinking desserts. I've never eaten the turkey I'm legs. legs. The, whenever I eat a turkey, turkey leg, I always feel like I'm eating cuban meat. <laughs> it's cuban meat. Cuban. It, oh, they said cuban meat. <laughs> like cuban. 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 It could be a cuban. It could be. But it's it's really. Uh, yeah. It's I'm a weird. Thinking, are they really turkeys though, or are they, people think they're chicken or turkey? I've never seen turkeys that big with legs that big. It's gross. They're, the legs are like they're like this long. And I saw this old couple come up to this. Younger couple eating the, uh, the turkey leg. I said, wow, that looks good. Where'd you get that pig's foot at? <laughs> and it wasn't a pig's foot. Turkey, turkey leg. Ugh. I would eat that. All right, and what is your first memory at, at any Disney park? My first memory is going to Walt Disney World, Magic Kingdom. So all my memories are in Florida. Mm -hmm. Going on vacation with my family and going from out of state into Central Florida and going to Magic Kingdom. So always with my mom and my dad and my sister. Mostly at Magic Kingdom first and then Later on, when MGM Studios opened and Epcot and all that, probably the parades down uh -huh. Main Street yeah. is probably the first thing I can recollect at Magic Kingdom. Hmm. But no specific like first actual memory. A lot of memories, but nothing. Nothing you could say would be my first memory. Right. Hmm. I think my first memory was actually right down there, and there was like a clown on Main Street who was, was here. He riding for a an while? elephant. That's true. Now, what is your favorite treat at Disney at any Disney park? Oh. That's a loaded question. Um, but, um, I'm gonna go with the mint julep, and I also like over at Jolly Holiday, they have a cookie, it's a Mickey cookie, and I get like milk. I, instead of just getting the one pint of milk, I get two or three, and I wash it down. I do like that one a lot, and the corn dogs are really good too. Yeah. But well, if I had to go with one that I would recommend to the, the general consensus, I would say the mint julep in New Orleans Square. So it's a solid pick. The beignets are good. Yeah, they are good. The beignets are pretty good. I do not like that Monte Cristo sandwich though. What? No, I don't. Here's a little tip for you. <laughs> Get the specific, just the cheese version. Uh-huh. Blow your mind. Really? I'm not real big on the powdered sugar on there. No. But the cheese makes up for it. Yeah, it's like a donut so go, sandwich. Just go full cheese. Well, do you know, by the way, do you know where the slogan say cheese came from? No, I don't. Someone takes a picture. Back in the day, cheese was a delicacy and not very many people were allowed or could afford to have cheese. So when you would get a picture taken, back in the day, back in the 30s and 40s, you very rarely saw people smile. Like it was, it was frowned upon to smile, no pun intended, in a photo. As society changed, they wanted people to smile. Say because cheese. people weren't used to having cheese, the photographers would say, say cheese, and you would get happy because you were thinking of something you normally couldn't have, huh. and you would smile, and it just stuck with it. That's why, that's where say cheese came from. Interesting. There is a lot of cheese in Canada, though. 
cheese curds. Oh man. Oh yeah, they have like, and like so salty and good. Isn't that what they put on poutine? Is that what yes. They, yeah. oh, poutine. I've never oh, had that before. So good. <laughs> Gain five I pounds like with every bite. No, oh, it's so good. It's non-fattening. Oh no, no it's fattening. fattening. Yeah. Oh, then I would love. It's yeah, like it's cheesy cheese, gravy fries. Cheese fries and gravy. What do they have? That it's pretty much a coronary and a heart attack combined into one. Do they have um, poutine at uh, the Canadian Epcot? I was actually getting ready to suggest that. I don't know. I don't know that either. I wonder if they have elephants or poutine. I think we should go get a cookie and some milk. And you want something as well. You gonna get a you don't get whip a and a churro. Oh, we, we forgot dip we that in there. Not we call ourselves Disney fans. We didn't even mention the churros. No, dude, a churro and a coffee, or a churro and a hot chocolate on a cold winter evening, which happens occasionally here in sunny California. Sometimes, man, a churro yeah. is good. Yeah. Well, let's go get some treats. Let's do it. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. There's the first memories at Disney parks and our favorite treats. And now we're going to go eat some food, uh, probably a treat. I'm thinking about, I don't know what's going on here. By the way, you didn't talk about your favorite treat. Um, Did this? I think that the raspberry macaroon is probably secondary to... This looks oh, like a moon pie. My favorite treat at Disneyland is the chocolate shake from the Ghirardelli uh, at DCA. What do you have now, though? What's this? This is some kind of pomegranate fizz, and I believe this kind of tastes like some kind of lime. And it looks like they put some kind of um, chemical on top. It bedazzled it. It's, yeah, it's yeah. some kind of That's interesting. zest, Metal. silver zest. Yeah. Metal, bro. What is this? <laughs> some kind of. Your like... camera's so clear, you can see like the little hairs oh, on the fruit. Yeah. <laughs> it has little hairs on it. I'm a fruit hair. Mm, I never that? eat anything round with hairs on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You all right, Jay? Yeah. Oh, Having a little laughing moment? Sounds close you to You find home. your laughing place? He <laughs> loves to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and long and clear. <laughs> he loves to laugh. <laughs> it's getting worse up here. Dude, what is happening right now? <laughs> Mickey is... Yep. No interest. I broke him. The Kylo Ren thing? Yeah. I broke him. You punched Kylo Ren the other day. So I got my two. I gotta go double on these. Kylo Ren is the coolest meeting I've ever done. He comes and gets you, and he doesn't say shit. It's actually creepy. Justin's cursing. Oh wow. You just ate Mickey's face. It's like Hannibal Lecter. Do some Chianti with that. So you got your favorite treat. It's my treat. The whip. Wait a second. Yours doesn't have any pineapple in it. It yours is, it's pineapple. No, I mean yours doesn't have any pineapple juice. No. Straight to the point. Yeah, I'm My treat comes with the show. And Jay, and Jay got me one as well. I'm very excited. Oh yeah, yes. Jay bought. He didn't know that because I took his credit card and purchased it, but Jay is the one that bought. So I treated the treats? He did. When you make it out to Walt Disney World, you definitely got to try that orange float because that thing I've is seen that. ridiculous. You're talking about the orange bird. The orange bird, yeah. Oh, man. It's a little bit different. There's a big argument, a big debate on the internet, which is better, the Dole Whip float or the orange bird drink out there. It's kind of like here over in New Orleans Square when you get the mint julep. That's specifically to Disneyland. The Orange Bird is specific to Magic Kingdom. Mm. Two of the three. I I'm going to go with the Orange Bird. Whoa. Oh, the orange Bird? Oh, yeah. Wow. That's my favorite. I don't know, man. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. What do they think, the viewers think? What's better, a Dole Whip or a mint julep or an Orange Bird? And, That's you and you've never had one before, so you don't know. I can't judge. What is your favorite treat at Disney? Leave a comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be kind, rewind, and I'll see you in the next one.